But you know, we can reduce this even more. So part of the problem here is that we have our list of products on our product page, and that's the full list. But then when we look at our header, we duplicate this a bit. We add our mahogany and our bamboo products here to our featured product listing. But the prices for mahogany here and bamboo here are going to need to be identical to the products listing for mahogany and bamboo here. Also, if we change the product image or the title, then they need to change in the featured listing bar as well. So what would be ideal is if we had a master list of products and we can pull out individual products for different types of displays. For the product page, we would want to display all of the products, but for a featured stick sidebar, we would just want to add two items there. In the future, we could extend this to include more, or we could create additional types of listings, but it would all pull from the same master set of products. So if you've already worked through the videos dealing with MySQL and databases, then you're probably thinking that a database is the perfect place for this information. And you're right. But we're going to take one more step before we get to the database to demonstrate the power of unique identifiers. So in one of our previous examples, we were dealing with a database of users. And in order to convey to our script which user we were working with, we used the username for the user. But what this meant was that the username could never change. It assumed that we would never want to change that. But what happens if a user accidentally misspells their username and needs to modify it later? Well, in that case, it would make sense to have a different kind of identifier that was completely different from the actual data in the record. Now, these unique identifiers can take one of two forms. Most commonly in Drupal, this takes a form of an auto-incrementing number. So every time you have a new record, it gets a new number that's one more than the latest record. So the first record for a particular piece of data would have the unique identifier of one, the next one would have two, the next one three, and so on. And one important quality of that type of unique identifier is that numbers are never reused. So for example, if we have 10 records and we delete one, we don't create another record with the ID of 10. We just move on to 11, even though there's no 10 anymore. Another type of unique identifier is a hash, or often called a universal unique identifier. And this is a long string that contains all kinds of characters in it, and it's so random that the chances of another one occurring that has the same identifier is so small that it will pretty much never happen. Now Drupal by default doesn't use this type of identifier very much. Normally it defaults to the auto-incrementing type. And we're going to go ahead and follow suit by assigning a unique identifier, which is a number, to each one of these products. 